Here are 21 reasons why you should move to Las Vegas. Starting with number one, affordability. Believe it or not, Las Vegas boasts a lower cost of living compared to other major cities. Housing, groceries, and even entertainment can be easy on your wallet here. Just for comparison purposes, the median price in Las Vegas is in the low 400,000s. In Los Angeles, the median price is about $800,000, and in San Francisco, it's over a million dollars. Number two, no state income tax. Nevada is one of the few states with no state income tax. That means you get to keep more of your hard earned money. One of the top reasons that my buyers are relocating here to Las Vegas is because of the no state income tax and the tax benefits that you could experience here in Nevada. Number three, entrepreneurial spirit. Thinking of starting your own business? Las Vegas is a hotbed for innovations with plenty of resources and support for aspiring entrepreneurs. Plus, there's a lot of tax benefits and pros when it comes to establishing your business here in Nevada. Number four, no traffic. Here in Las Vegas, we have very little or no traffic. It's very easy to get around our city with freeways like the 15, 215, and the 95. Before moving to Las Vegas, I lived in LA, so I have experienced the heavy traffic bumper to bumper on the 405 and the 10. So compared to that, it's a piece of cake here in Las Vegas. Number five, the Strip. We are called the city of entertainment. We have access to incredible shows, dining, shopping, nightclubs, and even sports entertainment. Can you just picture yourself just only living 15 to 20 minutes away from the Strip? And you're right. Most of the neighborhoods surrounding Las Vegas and surrounding the Strip is only about 15 to 20 minutes away. So when you think about it, the entertainment is at your fingertips whenever you want to have a date night with your husband or if you have your friends visiting from out of town, you could easily go to the strip and entertain them. A client once told me this, Cody, I used to visit Las Vegas once a year. I would save up a lot of money to spend on the entertainment here in Las Vegas. But now as a local, I could experience these incredible entertainment anytime I want, whenever I want. And that really stuck to me because when you're a local, you really get spoiled and you really don't appreciate as much. But when you have visitors visiting and you take them out to the strip and they're just wowed by everything they see, it's really nice to feel that this is your home. And at your home, you have the strip just only 15 to 20 minutes away. Number six, family friendly focus. Vegas isn't just for adults anymore. There are a ton of parks, museums, and attractions that are family friendly for kids. Plus, the weather is perfect all year round for outdoor recreational activities. Number seven, fun in the sun. No more shoveling snow and no more scraping off the ice on your car. Las Vegas enjoys over 300 days of sunny sunshine, warm weather, making it a dream for all those that love outdoor experiences. I've worked with so many buyers from cities like Seattle and Chicago, where they have colder or wetter weather, and they chose Las Vegas because of the sunny weather. And for those buyers, outdoor living space with a pool and a spa was their must have requirement when searching for a home here in Las Vegas. Number eight, Las Vegas Golden Knights. Our Stanley Cup champs, six years ago, the Las Vegas Golden Knights were the first professional sporting team to ever be established in Las Vegas. And with that, it really brought the community together. I enjoy taking my family to the Knights game all the time. We have such a blast. We're all geared up in Knights gear. We enjoy the game and entertainment at the game is at next level. And I tell you this because I have so many buyers and clients visiting from out of town. And if they love hockey, they'll definitely catch a Golden Knights game when they're visiting. And when I ask them how the game went, they're just blown away because the entertainment level here between each period and even the opening, I get chills every time watching that live. It's such a great entertainment and experience. And as you know, hockey is best watched live. Number nine, Raiders. We were so excited to welcome the Las Vegas Raiders with a brand new arena, the Allegiant Stadium. What's so interesting about the community I live in called Southern Highlands is that because of its location, we have a lot of Raiders coaches and athletes that live there. 
So I would spot these athletes all the time at my local shopping center, the Southern Highlands Marketplace, whether it's at the Smith, at the Starbucks, or at Walgreens. Southern Highlands is conveniently located in the center, 10 minutes away from the practice facility in Henderson, and 10 minutes away from Allegiant Stadium. Number 10, Aces. We are home to the champion WNBA Aces. They play basketball in Mandalay Bay. Have you guys heard the rumors that we're expecting an NBA team very soon in Las Vegas? Comment below and let me know your thoughts because I'm excited, I love NBA, and I cannot wait to welcome a NBA team here in Las Vegas. Number 11, Major League Fun. Currently, we have a minor league called the Aviators that play at downtown Summerlin at the ballpark. The ballpark attracts a lot of fans. I heard that they average 7,500 attendees per game, which is actually a statistics that's more than some of these major league attendants. Now, what's really exciting is that the Tropicana just closed their doors and we're expecting a brand new arena for the major league sporting team of the Oakland A's. They're expected to move out here and we're very excited. Personally, I'm really excited because I cannot wait to see Otani play here in Las Vegas. By the way, if we haven't met yet, Konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your global real estate advisor helping you find your new home. Whether it's a home here in Las Vegas or Henderson, Nevada, or anywhere in the globe, I'll be more than happy to help you along your home buying journey. Feel free to reach out to me because I could connect you to one of my Sotheby's partners worldwide. And let's keep going. Number 12, F1. F1 has been recently added to our world-class entertainment list. The first one just happened this past November and our city went wild. Can you just picture the entire strip being shut down for this incredible heart-pounding race? Yes, you could watch it in the grandstands and from some of these amazing vantage points on the strip and experience F1. This event will be reoccurring every November. Number 13, Lake Las Vegas. A lot of my relocation clients are surprised to hear that we actually have a man-made lake life here in Las Vegas and Henderson, Nevada. Lake Las Vegas is about 30 or 45 minutes away from the Strip and it offers a resort style community and lifestyle. I personally love taking my family to Lake Las Vegas during the hot summer month. We usually stay at the Westin Hotel and we really love exploring their pool, their water slides, and even going out to the lake to go paddle boarding. Number 14, variety of home options. In Las Vegas and Henderson, we have resale homes and new homes. We have track homes and custom homes. Did you know that you could purchase a town home for as little as $100,000? And on the custom side, we have homes over $30 million in our valley. We have homes in Las Vegas and Henderson for every budget. Number 15, job market on fire. Vegas is booming. From hospitality and entertainment to tech and healthcare, there are diverse and exciting career options for every sector in Las Vegas. We have a growing tech hub like companies like Google and Tesla setting up shop here. In the last couple of years, personally, I have been experiencing working with a lot of doctors, physicians, and nurses that are relocating here from out of state. What's important for them is the proximity of their home to where they're working. Whether that is at Nellis Air Force Base or it's one of the 14 hospitals here in Las Vegas and Henderson. Number 16, foodie paradise. Forget the buffet. Las Vegas has become a haven for celebrity chefs and Michelin star restaurants. There's a cuisine to satisfy any craving. Number 17, Chinatown. Have you experienced Chinatown on Spring Mountain? Chinatown, when I first moved here about 19 years ago, expanded only from Valley View up to Arville. I remember frequently going to a place called Tea Station. Tea Station is a small cafe that serves hot and cold boba drinks and small light meals. And that concept actually came from California where I used to live. So it was really kind of homey feeling for me. And I would really love going there with my friends. Chinatown now spans from Valley View all the way to Rainbow Boulevard. Chinatown has been growing, especially with our growing Asian population, and there you can find everything you need to know about Asian cuisines, Asian shopping centers, and even grocery stores. 
I have to mention my favorite dim sum place because a lot of my clients ask me all the time, Kaori, where do you go for dim sum? My favorite dim sum place in Chinatown is called New Asian Barbecue. I frequent there in between showings or when I'm meeting up with clients, especially those looking for uh, really authentic dim sum places. Now it's time for a pop quiz. I know you've been waiting for this. The first person to comment the right answer will get a shout out on my next YouTube shorts. Which of the following Las Vegas professional sporting teams came first? A. NFL Raiders B. WNBA Aces C. NHL Vegas Golden Knights and D. MLB Oakland A's Red Rock Canyons and Mount Charleston Did you know that you could experience a beautiful Red Rock National Conservation Area just 30 minutes away from the Strip? Yes, this natural conservation is located on the northwest side of our valley, right by Summerlin. There you can experience hiking, biking, mountain climbing, and even horseback riding. Mount Charleston is located about an hour or an hour and a half away on the northwest side of town. And did you know that you could experience snowboarding, skiing, tubing, as well as snowman building there? Yes, you heard me right. We have snow in the desert, you guys. I have a buyer consultation with a couple tomorrow. And guess where they are right now? They're actually snowboarding in Mount Charleston. I love taking my family, especially my daughters and my nephews, to both of these outdoor recreational parks. Red Rock offers great hiking trails. There's even trails with waterfalls. We love going out there, especially in the springtime when it's not too hot. We love going out there. We see wild animals out there. It's a really good experience. We make it a point to go to Mount Charleston at least once a year to experience the sledding. And one of the picnic areas that we like the most is called Foxtail. There's not that many people there. It's really kind of tucked in before you get to Lee Canyon where there's a lot of people there. So just a pro tip, if you're looking for a picnic area to go sledding, Foxdale. Vibrant culture and a sense of community. With the melting pot of people all around the globe, Las Vegas is diverse in culture and also in cuisine. Living here, there's a strong sense of community. I really enjoy the sense of community that we have here in Las Vegas and Henderson. We're very proud to all be here. Most of us are transplants and have moved here and relocated here from other cities and other countries. But like I mentioned before, it's a melting pot and you see people from all over the world. We're all thriving and working in this diverse environment. Bright Lines, Big Arrival. That's right. The high-speed rail is coming to Las Vegas. Imagine hopping on a train from LA and being here in Las Vegas in less than a few hours. Weekend getaways just got a whole lot easier. Or you may be living in LA, working in Vegas, or vice versa, living in Vegas and working in LA. The great thing about this high-speed train is that you don't have to worry about any traffic, any delays, any road constructions, any wildfires. I mean, I've experienced it all. So you don't have to worry about any of that because usually when it comes to the drive time from LA to Las Vegas, I would say it's approximately anywhere from four to five hours. Again, depending on how fast you go because I have clients that's done it in three hours. But this high speed train, you're guaranteed to get here in a certain number of hours and you could do work on the train, you could be working on your laptop, you could be having fun with your friends, having conversations. You don't have to worry about all the delay time that could impact your schedule and your lifestyle. Number 21, Hollywood 2.0. Vegas is quickly becoming a big production hub. Big name studios like Sony are setting up shop here in Las Vegas in South Summerlin, which means exciting new job opportunities in the entertainment industry. For more videos about Las Vegas lifestyle and thinking about relocating here, make sure you check out one of the videos surrounding me. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for finding me. It would really make me happy if you could smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're made aware of my weekly content. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you on the next one.